Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed ramp slow motion footage. So whenever you're working with a clip, it always is shot in a certain frame rate. If you ever click on any clip that's in your project media bin or panel, you can see in the top right info corner some information about that clip. So this clip, for example, is shot in 60 frames per second. Now your sequence also has a certain frame rate as well. So a typical smooth motion sequence that you're used to seeing is anywhere from 24 to 30 frames per second, and that'll look like normal smooth motion. Some cameras, um, even iPhones nowadays, have ability to shoot in 60 frames per second, sometimes all the way up to 120 frames per second, and that's just capturing more frames of information in the clip so that if you wanted to, you could take a 60 frame per second video and there would be enough frames to stretch it out and slow it down 50% and still have it look smooth at 30 frames per second. But if you tried to slow it down further than that, it probably wouldn't, it would start to look choppy. So for example, this 60 frame per second clip of this water spilling, that's how it looks. But if I stretch it down to 50%, it'll still look smooth at 30 frames per second. But if I stretch it down all the way to like 10%, you're gonna to start to see each individual frame chopping from one piece to the next because there isn't enough information. Now there are things that Premiere has in it to try to blend and make up frames, such as when I right click, I can try to interpolate with optical flow or other things. But even still, sometimes you just can't stretch something beyond its limits and it'll start to look choppy at a certain point. Another cool trick in Premiere is speed ramping. If I ever right click and show clip keyframes and go to time remapping and speed, it'll show this line here and I can adjust the entire speed by pulling this line up or down. But if I hold the command key, I can actually add keyframes onto points of this clip to split it. So I can add two little points and I can just speed up just this one portion of the clip and the rest of it will remain slowed down. You can also split these playheads. So instead of going abruptly from 300% to 50, you can create like a gradual ramp. But when I play something like this back, it'll go from s slow to fast to slow again. But again, I probably don't want it to be 10%. I want it to be 50% overall. So when I play something like this back, it might be slow, and then we might go to a fast portion, and then it might slow down again. This is cool for moments of emphasis. So when you already have a clip that is slow motion, such as, let's take a real footage here. And if I do the same process on this clip, the first thing I'll do is actually just make the video track one a little bit bigger by pulling on this line, so I can see what's going on. And then I can right click show clip keyframes for speed, and then I can add my points. So what I actually want to do is watch the clip for interesting moments so that when we do our speed adjustments, they kind of are in sync with what's happening. So in this clip, uh, she begins this little circular dance move. And if I want, I can add a point there. And then by the end of that little move, that can have been a cool move to have speed ramped. And also the camera is moving as well. So you'll get these cool fast forwarding through the frame feels. And so from this point to this point, I can increase it maybe three or more hundred percent. If I want, I can add a little bit of ramping. I don't even have to, it can just jump straight from fast to slow. But when I play something like that back, that's the perfect example. It's slow, it's fast during like a port part that makes sense. Her arms go in a full circle and then it jumps back to being slow again. It can really look cool for music videos or to add some emphasis or just to cut to the interesting parts of the image without cutting. So I can zoom through this section. Perhaps I can zoom all the way up to even when the camera moves forward. You really want it to be more like bursts and not super long speedy sections because then it'll just start to look like you're fast forwarding. But you can adjust and play around and see what it might look like as you 
try different speeds and lengths of the ramping. So this is what that might look like if you did it a few times throughout the clip in moments that made sense. And this would look great for music videos. So the main idea here is to shoot a high frames per second clip, make it slow motion, and then speed ramp in to certain sections of action in that slow motion clip. If you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisha. You can check out more tutorials on slow motion and speed ramping in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.